Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be looking at uranium, uh, the weekly close for uranium. Uh, it's been a not the not a great week for uranium at all. Uh, there are some signs that we might have the first initial pullback, maybe, maybe not, but we will definitely check it out here. And uh, as always, subscribe, follow, comment, the good or the bad. It's all up to you. And hopefully you like what you see. So uh, let's get straight into business here. URA, we are looking at the weeklies. Look at it here. A possible reversal here, reversal candlestick here. Spinning top at that high over here makes total sense for a lot of resistance here at the 28.5. Makes total sense, right? Ultimately, I think we will at least come to the triangle high there. But uh, a pause here wouldn't surprise me at all. Let's look at the four hour just very quickly here you can see it here what is this that is a bearish rising wedge usually they pop to the downside so but let's see let's have the confirmation first you can also see the other rsi is obviously going down when you have these spikes here so an early warning sign that we could have the first bigger pullback for uranium um, but anyways look at the move that we have had from yeah we're up 50 percent. so a pullback here Totally normal, totally healthy, and so on. Also, looking at the URNM, a bit more of a green candle here, up a few percent, which is, of course, nice. Big wick here for the first time ever since we started this move. Again, caution here. Uh, we are also at the high here at roughly uh, 47. And we close a tad below, so uh, keep that in mind. Same thing again, the squeezing here. The rising wedge we have a gap down here that could be a potential target at the 42 um, and that should if we close that gap that should give us a bounce and we will see how high it can go there but again early signs that we are probably at the end of this first wave of wave of the major wave three so we have a, a long way to go still you are on j on the weekly same thing really we have a lot of volume coming in at the end of a big move is typically not a good sign here. Indecision, big volume could lead to uh, think that there uh, there has been a lot of distribution over time, over, over this week. Uh, again, spinning top here or doji. And uh, yeah, we could go all the way down to, uh, to the lower of this uptrend here. And that would be a beautiful pullback uh, into the 20s. And uh, yeah, we'll see. The U.UN, same thing again, the exact same thing weekly. Oh. The weekly there it is spinning top here doji it's not a doji it's it's a spinning top possible reversal so look for that 22 dollar level the low of that body green of that green body there very much oversold a pullback would be perfect uh perfectly normal down to maybe even 20 the high here that uh, but we have tons of support from from 19 to 20 you have major major support and i don't see that one breaking at all XLE, we are uh, against the against the SPX still outperforming. Again, you can see the wick, so maybe there is some pausing here, but still, we are outperforming. Uh, one one thing I would worry though, I I think we talked about that last time as well, is if we go down here, you actually have a possible head and shoulders. So keep that in mind. Uh, that could be very dangerous. Just like here, inverted, then you can have a, a topping pattern there. Um, we really want to get above this high here to to really get the, this uh, thing going once again. XLE keeps underperforming the URNM. Again, for the first time in a few weeks, we have a, a bit of a caution candle here, a uh, a doji uh, on the weekly. Um, but again, long term, I think we're going down to this triangle high or low right here. URNM against the spot price. Again, a bit of a weak uh, weekly candle here. We're still above here, uh, which is the ultimate goal. And we are also above the neckline. Also very good, nothing to worry about for now. But we should hopefully start to outperform here. But again, the spot price has been very, very strong. And the miners had, were clopped down, you know, um, Friday. They were, they had a big uh, down day. So, so let's see still, we really want to get above that one here. Uh, at around 0 0.7, then we uh, 
we'll look for more upside. URA divided by the spot price, which is, as you know, URA has roughly 40 or 30 to 40 percent of solar in it, and solar is getting killed. Um, so that's really dragging this one down to pe compared to the URNM against the spot price. We are looking for a possible fake out here. We still have the lows here from the bull market beginning. Um, so hopefully that holds. But uh, but yeah, this could definitely look better. And, um, and we really want to get things uh, back up again here. Same thing, URA against the overall commodities. We are, we have broken out. We are outperforming again with a weekly doji. Um, but for now, we have broken out of that long term here. Ultimately, we want to get up to here. But uh, yeah, there, there might be some way to go still. URA against the SPY. Again, the exact same thing. A doji topping tail right there. Insanely over so overbought, excuse me. You can see it up here. So we have broken out of that triangle. That is beautiful. And again, a pullback here of some kind would be totally normal, totally healthy, just to reset everything, get all the speculative the speculative money out and all the impatient people out of the trade, and then we resume higher. That is the name of the game. Again, I'm not calling for it. I'm just it, it could be that we're in for a Porsche with all these weekly topping patterns here or topping candles. Again, same thing here again. URA against the NASDAQ. We are at the resistance which we have torn in and look what happened. We touched it all the way back down again. Possible reversal here. And uh, and yeah, same thing. When we take out that white uh, support and resistance here, however, we are in for a major outperformance of URA against the NASDAQ. But we might uh, have a little detour before we we uh, start to, to go again. We're not that overbought yet on the weekly, so that's always nice. Again, against Bitcoin, we are getting resisted here at that long-term golden trend line here. So until we break, we are not outperforming, but it definitely looks like that we are, we keep pounding onto that long-term trend line. Hopefully that is the case. Obviously, if, if we start to get rejected and we are getting below uh, these lows here, then obviously Bitcoin is outperforming the uh, URA once again. The spot price, look at it here. What do we have? The Fukushima high at 33, uh, at, excuse me, 73 dollars per pound is reached um, this week. Also, last Friday, the U.UN sold off big time at that high. Uh, well, not big time, but uh, 3% or so. But here, I would expect to have a pushback. Also, look at the move, right? I mean, what more can you ask for? Ever since March, um, what's that? That's uh, half a year ago. We are, went from 50 to, uh, to, uh, to 73. That's roughly 50% increase in the spot price. I mean, Let's let's take a breather. Totally fine. Totally normal. Let's not uh, get uh, get ahead of ourselves. Um, gold and silver took took a big hit Friday. A uh, big intraday reversal on the some economic data that I cannot remember. But again, confirming the U, uh, the the uranium spot price outperforming gold. Uh, excuse me. In this case, silver. Look at it here. Long term. Let's go to the monthly because we get a bit more compressed. The, there it is. Inverted head and shoulders, uranium spot price outperforming silver. That is beautiful if you are a uranium bull. And uh, it looks like, in my view, that we could go all the way up here. That would be a measured move of the lows here. So we get roughly up to there. Um, so uh, beautiful from a uranium point of view. Same thing here again against gold. Also confirming a big fat monthly breakout of that inverted head and shoulders right there and the horizontal there it is we have two lines actually coming down that was not very good drawn by me but anyways that is a beautiful monthly uh candle outperforming by um by the uranium spot price against gold so yeah um let's see how friday were yeah you can see friday here i do expect you know this one to break down to the downside and how low can we go I think ultimately, if you were that lucky to get down to the 24, and why 24? We have, we did have that one in here before we deleted it, that zone right there. So 24, just a tad below, that would be an amazing re-entry or adding to, uh, to the uranium. Also, the pullback will be roughly how much? Let's see, 
we will get a it's only 10 percent pullback that's actually a minor pullback so uh so still getting down to 24 if i were to give an advice which i which you know you should always do your own due diligence but that would be a great uh, spot to to add in um to the ura good that's all i had for today weekly close again not the best week again we have had a major run so just it's totally fine, I would say. And uh, yeah, pullbacks are healthy. Consolidations are healthy. And they are needed to to stay, uh, stay a case higher uh, for this bull market. Have a great day, guys. Have a great week. And uh, yeah, see you in the next one. Cheers.